And welcome to Taxes and Tacos, presented by your friends, that's us, Paul Sue at 1040.com. What's up? I would just want to know why you said your friends, Paul and Sue, and then left out Jennifer Because I and always Kayla. do that. And then I get this and I go, hey, we're also joined well, with no, but, but they're Kayla, friends and then too. we give them a spotlight right here. Spotlight. And Jennifer. Hello. Still singing. La, la, la. What's up with you two? <laughs> oh... We're just <laughs> there are two very different wow, energy anyway, levels okay. going on right now. Hey, like, if this is your first time. It's, ra- it's rain for there's the last the week table. here. We're coming over some post Yeah, but that is that very true. true. Okay. Ooh, hey, if it's your man. first time tuning in to Taxes and Tacos in the comments of the Facebook Live video, type in 1040bot opt-in for our messaging. You yes. will be entered to win free lunch on us. Paul, Sue, Kayla, Jennifer, I gotta say all four names now. That I'm so proud of you. You also get some other fun English. info about filing your taxes from us. And that's right, I said fun and filing your taxes in the same sentence, and I wow. meant it. Hey, yesterday was um, President's Day. Yes, it was. That was fun. Yeah, it was a real good time. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> We've got two fun facts. Sue's gonna hit you with one. Yes. I'm gonna hit you with another, and we have special voices prepared for you yes so brace yourselves this is my history channel voice are you ready for this our modern day federal income tax system was created by the revenue act of 1913 which was signed into law by president woodrow wilson on october 3rd 1913 i I missed my calling abraham lincoln (laughs) paid income taxes but he did not have to Abraham Lincoln paid income taxes throughout the Civil War. I'm like from another country now. <laughs> no, he's just I'm slowly like, morphing. It's like, Paul, where are you going? I'm like Sebastian from Little Mermaid. <laughs> Under the sea. All right, anyway. All right, so Abraham Lincoln paid taxes throughout the Civil War. After his death, Treasury returned all his payments to his estate. Lincoln actually overpaid. And um, these payments would total $1,220 annually, about $28,700 in today's dollars. What a shining example. You just overpaid. Love that guy. Just, yeah. Wow. So that's fun. We hope you had a good President's <laughs> Day. We had a very good time, obviously, yeah. repairing our voices and things. So with that, we'll head right into the show and uh, hop into Just the Tax. <laughs> hop in. You like that? Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't jump hop jump in. right on in there. Hey, Sue's gonna hit us with some sweet facts about the QBI deduction. Yes, we have And some. freelancers. And free <laughs> Well, it's actually combined. So freelancers, there is some good news for you. Um tax reform, one of the things in tax reform that is going into action this is that hey, your hold phone on. thinking yeah. that it's talking to We'll have to, to let again? someone know. That's my phone. Um it's it's close by. Anytime I say, this is "Hey great. Sue," my phone, my Siri kicks on. So that's fun. It's pretty great. She's telling us facts about President's Day right now. That's amazing. Hey, thanks, Tucker. <laughs> what an Tucker. icon. All right, anyway, QBI. So, so um, one of these things that went into effect is the QBI deduction, and that's for qualified business income. Um, and it is a whopping 20% deduction off your qualified business income. So that means that you're only going to pay taxes on 80% of that qualified business income, which is really great news. There's also no extra forms needed, so you're not gonna have to go and do worksheets and figure out exactly how much that uh, deduction's gonna be. It all goes on in the background. So as soon as you um, file a Schedule C and attach that to your Form 1040, and that's where you report your expenses and your income from running your own business, that QBI deduction will just uh, calculate in the background. And there's lots of different businesses, business types that qualify. So if you want to learn more about the QBI deduction, head to uh, the blog and you can read all about that there. Look at those graphics. Wow, look, who, who made Sue those Sue creates wow. her own graphics and I love wow. them. <laughs> That's I'm awesome. Just, I'm just waiting for someone else to, you know, to... That, like, matters to enjoy them. Wow, I... No, I'm saying that, I don't matter. Like my opinion doesn't matter about those graphics. Oh well, well I I think it matters because you were complimentary. I yeah, think by that nice. alone it matters. They're nice. <laughs> anyway, so you can read about the QBI deduction and you can see my my graphics. That's good. Time. That's awesome. Solid answer there. <laughs> Thanks. This is hot news, and uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you crushed it. Crushed it. What about the government shutdown? Hey, you know that movie from Toy Story? I believe Toy Story One, where Buzz and um, 
and Woody are in the claw machine at Pizza Planet. And uh, mm-hmm. is it Sid? Is that his name? Mm-hmm. The neighborhood kid? Mm-hmm. He's he's in the alien, the claw machine, and they're in there, and they're, like, scared, and they're looking up. And they get chosen, right? Right. He gets Woody and Buzz. I think one's holding on. That's how I felt last week about the government <laughs> shutdown, except it didn't happen. Didn't it would happen. be like if Toy Story 1 was rewritten. And he got an alien instead of Buzz and Woody. All right. Totally The government did not shut down. Awesome news uh, for us. But you've got some tax news in case people were worried about it. Yes. So um, the good news about the potential shutdown was even if we did go back into a shutdown, the IRS has been really on the ball this year. We've had a very um, different tax season this year but the irs has stayed on it they've been processing returns and they've been sending out refunds and trying to keep things ship shape as possible through this whole thing so just moment of of appreciation for the irs well done guys it has been a different year that's cool though no year's the same right right yep and 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 we say that every year i think every year that i've worked at 1040 we're like okay this year's gonna be new and different because of a b c or d like there's always some big thing that's coming up so i remember one year it just like snowed like all winter long i feel like the whole Mm -hmm. country was covered in snow at some point Mm -hmm. and we were like people can't People can't use internet or people like exactly. just crazy stuff. Or they're at home, <laughs> so they need to file their taxes. There we go. You didn't know that snow a days were going to affect your taxes, but they do. These are the things we think about. I also love um, all three of your faces when I went through the Toy Story scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone behind the camera is like, what did, where, where are you we going We were just trying this? to figure out where you were going with it. <laughs> yeah. It was you a brought very it back. Fitting. It was solid. Well, in the run through, I tried the Armageddon thing, and Tucker is sitting in the room with his head to try and correct me, and I said, "There's no way I'm going to get it." But you know what? I can get right. <laughs> Throw Toy what you story. know. Yeah, because your hat, your yep, hat, it, my dad it, hat. Yes, your dad Disney hat. Hey, power, let's jump real. over. Are you good in that? You're good with the. We're we're good here. Yeah. All right, let's head over to from the filter. If you're keeping up with news in the country of Haiti, you know that there is some uh, unrest there, uh, riots against the government, and things are are pretty crazy, uh, to be Mm -hmm. honest. We do have an update from Healing Waters, and their field staff is safe. Um, They're they're doing well. They are at home. They can't get out. uh, They can't get to the office. They can't work right now, but they are safe, and that's what Mm -hmm. we care about more than anything is their safety. And um, if you don't know who Healing Waters yeah. is, Tell then um, you can go to healingwaters.org. Healing Waters is an incredible um, water based um, uh, organization. nonprofit organization. And they de- they've developed a filtration system that can be built and implemented pretty much anywhere in the world. So they work with communities in developing countries and kind of get them established and um, producing their own wa- their own clean water and that sort of thing. So we love those guys. We've been working with them um, and just kind of supporting their outreach uh, for several years now. So we really appreciate everything they're doing and the fact that they're still um, working really hard despite the uh, dangerous conditions in Haiti. Paul and I went to Haiti a couple of years ago back in 2017. So we actually know a lot of the people who are now um, just taking shelter. So um, we it's, it's kind of a near... Uh, um, situation for us. So, um, but we're, we're really proud of Healing Waters International and everything that they do. Um, and if you don't know, if you want to learn more about them, head to healingwaters.org for more information. And if you're still wondering why the heck we're talking about them, head over to 1040.com to our give back page and you can read more of what that looks like for us. All right, let's jump over to Tales and Fails or Tales and Fail. Boom. Epic fail. Hey, this is awesome. A man in Florida mistakenly receives $980,000 uh, on a tax refund. And officials say he tried to keep it. This is coming uh, from the New York Times. And uh, this is amazing. 29-year-old Raymond C. Blanchett. Don't Facebook him, all right? Just let him be. <laughs> let uh, him be. <laughs> let him be, Yeah. Filed a uh, 2016 income tax return in February of 2017, uh, basically uh, showing $17,098 in wages and $1 million of federal income tax withholding. $1 million of federal uh, income tax withholding. Uh, when actually he paid $2,098 and no tax was withheld or, or brought that money in and um, received this insane 
in, insanely large refund and tried to keep it. Uh, I can't believe that somebody would try and pull this off. But what I really can't believe is when asked about it, um, he said that the money came from the estate of his deceased father. Ouch. Maybe that, that's like the equivalent of that one guy that you had in all of your general ed classes in college whose grandma died like eight times during the semester. And that's why he couldn't get a paper turned in. Exactly. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was out of town. My grandma died. And you're like, how many grandmas do you have? It's like, ouch. Yeah. Not, not a, not I a don't know. I, I don't think I could sleep at night if I put this on my uh, deceased father. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So anyway, anyway let's just stop talking about this guy. <laughs> It's a, it, I guess it's funny. I don't know. Can we laugh about that? Ha, yeah. ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Let's head over to upcoming <laughs> deadlines. <laughs> Paul, what upcoming deadlines do we have? Hey, Sue's asking me because guess what? There aren't any. Wow. But we do have some news about, uh, if you're having to call the IRS right now, Sue's going to take you through a laundry list yes. of um, things you might want to have in place before picking up the phone to call the IRS. And by might, he means definitely, because yeah. it'll make your life easier. So um, if you call the IRS to ask any questions about your tax return, anything like that, um, they want to make super, super, super sure that it is you calling and not somebody who is posing as you. Like your History Channel voice. Yes, like my History okay. Channel voice. Yes, hi, I'm Susanna, and I'm asking about my social security. No, hi, and I'm Sebastian from... <laughs> That wasn't even it. <laughs> wow. All right. We're just voice. we're just moving along. So if you plan to call the I'll IRS, back here. Here, that's fine. You okay. just stay back there. If you're planning to call, here are some things that you need to have on hand so that you can prove that it is you and not somebody else. First, you're going to need the social security numbers and the birth dates for everyone who's named on your tax return. So if it's just you, if you're a single filer, then you're just going to need your info. But if you're married and you have kids or if you're taking care of a parent, you're going to want to make sure that you have everybody's social security numbers and everybody's birth dates. If you don't have a social security number, then you're going to need an individual taxpayer identification number, an ITIN. Um, so... You're also going to need to know your filing status. You'll be single, head of household, married filing jointly, married filing separately, or qualifying widow or widower. So you'll need to know that. Take a breath. In. Take a breath. You got okay. this. Okay. We're halfway through. Okay. You'll also need your prior year tax return. Um, that is just so in case anyone on the telephone needs to verify your identity with information from last year's taxes. You'll also need a copy of the tax return that you're asking about right now, so this year's tax return. And finally, any IRS letter, you, just, yeah, 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 it's yeah, fine, yeah. it's fine. Oh. This is the last one. Okay, okay. Stay strong, okay. stay with okay. me. Any IRS letters or notices received by you. So <laughs> make sure you have all of those things <laughs> so before you sit down basically, and Basically, it's like a novel. Pretty I don't much. Know. There's like a beginning, a middle, and an end. You're just like, I have all of this information. It's kind of, but the thing that's good <laughs> to know about this on the front end, I don't know about you, but every time I went to the DMV um, when oh, I was gosh. a teenager, yeah. I always forgot at least one thing multiple times in the same day. Like I would go and I would get like halfway through the process. They're like, okay, do you have this? And I was like, no, did I need that? And they're like, yes. Then you'd go and you'd come back and then you get like three quarters of the way and they're like, oh, do you have this? It's a struggle. So... Make All right, sure let's you head over everything on to the, the Q&A. Right on time. Sweet. What All you right. got for us? So the first question, how do I know how much to pay on estimated taxes? Ooh, this is easy to answer. So the IRS has a tax form. It's called Form 1040. Dash es and that is basically the home base for all things estimated taxes so if you are a freelancer or so sole proprietor or a independent contractor big words um then you will probably need to be filing quarterly estimated payments so if you want to figure out do i qualify for that how much do i actually have to pay in estimated payments throughout the year and what form do i use to actually pay those form 1040 es is pretty much everything that you're going to need for that so you can look that up and make sure that you look that up i don't know where i, I don't know where i was going with the second half of that uh, was, i'll save you hey what's the next question <laughs> all right the next question the only income i got was under the table cash 
how do I file? Do I need to file? And how can I get the most back? Cool. So even if you were paid in cash and it wasn't on any technical forms or anything like that, you still do need to file and report your income um, on your taxes if you made more money than the minimum filing threshold. Um, And that's just saying there are some people who won't have to file a tax return um, because they didn't make enough income to actually, you know, need to file a tax return. So if you want to know more about the minimum filing threshold, you can head to our tax guide and that will let you know, it's like, do I actually need to file a tax return? Did I make enough money to to need to do that? So if you are um, earning money in cash, maybe you didn't earn enough income to really actually have to um and that even goes if you uh if you don't receive a 1099 miscellaneous from the person who hired you but here's the thing you may still want to file a tax return even if you don't technically have to because there are some tax breaks that you can get that will actually um give you a refund even if you aren't due a refund one for example is the earned income tax credit so if you qualify for that one you could file your taxes and then walk away with a refund which i mean that's pretty awesome it won't be as much as you know dude bro who got 900 and eighty thousand dollars in a refund. It won't be that much, it. you know. Um, so, but so it may be helpful, and it may be good for you to uh, file your tax return, even if you don't technically have to. And um, the good thing about 1040.com is that you don't actually have to pay to file. You don't have to pay until you push the button to send your tax return to the IRS. So, if you're not sure whether you qualify for a refundable credit. You can go through the process, see if you actually qualify for it. And then if you do and you want to get that refund, you can then finish the process, file and pay. So boom, shakalaka. Yep. That is a thing people say. (laughs) Hey, it's the best part of the show. Can I get a drum roll, please? Our winner of free lunch that submitted last week is... Timothy Sims. Hey, Timothy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for typing 1040 bot. Tell all your friends about the show and let them know that you just won free lunch from 1040.com. Send us a direct message on Facebook. We'll get you the details of how we're going to make that happen. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're sharing the show with your friends. Send us in your tax questions. Send us in a message and say hello. We don't care what you send us. We want to know who you are. We want to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, next week we'll be live again. (laughs) 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesdays. Hope you're having a great week, and we'll catch you next time. So, so, so.